Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this video, I'm going to cover things that I want in Sons of the Forest. Now, this is going to be split into two videos because I actually found a lot of my notes in different places. So there was more to add and it started to become too convoluted. And I thought I'll just split it into two videos and that way I can upload them separately. The only major issue for that is I've got to make two thumbnails and I hate making thumbnails. But on a positive note, this video is done. So let's get started. Next thing I would like to see is traps that work with food and what I mean by that is a trap that you can set and to encourage cannibals to go on the trap to use food or put a deer carcass or a piece of meat so they run to it and get you can kind of do it with drying racks if you place a drying rack under a dead fall trap they will go for it so it does somewhat work in the forest but not well enough to actually probably use it next thing I want to add is a little bit gimmicky but I'd like to see draw bridges or draw like mechanics where logs can be affected by rope and stuff and pulleys it's not really needed but it's just a cool feature to have because you could even have custom traps that you could just drop a whole bunch of logs on enemies and such would be cool the next thing is i would like a quick menu in the forest you've got options to add cloth to weapons which allows you to light them on fire you can also add poison to weapons using amanita mushrooms i think they're called and twin berries and snow berries now the mushrooms i think there's two but to add the mushrooms it's easy you just add one mushroom so it's a couple of clicks but if you adding the berries you gotta add like four berries to make it poisonous and if you're in the middle of a fight it's not really useful and it only gives you one hit off the weapon to add the poison effect which slows their movement down and does a damage over time effect the damage over time effect is quite low especially on harder modes because they just have so much more hit points though on normal it's more effective though the benefit of it is that it actually slows them down about 25 percent which includes their movement speed and their attacks it's just such a pain to add the effect again because it's quite rare you're fighting an enemy one-on-one -on -one. and if you're on hard or hard survival or in multiplayer the game doesn't pause when you open up the inventory so it's not a very effective thing i'd suggest a quick menu similar to that of maybe stranded deep that is pretty good that system but only for quick things like this just grab a couple of berries out of your hand and wipe it on the blade or something like that imagine if you cut your hand while doing it that'll be most unfortunate the next thing i want in sons of the forest is for a spear gun and i think that should be one of three weapons that should be usable underwater swinging an axe underwater is just not realistic now we know that there's knives in the game i think the knife should be usable underwater but i think you should also be able to use a spear and they should add a spear gun they already had air canisters in the forest i'm assuming they're making a return because they'll be probably cave diving using duct tape some wood the air canister maybe some tubing wiring something i don't really know what i'm talking about but i'm sure in the game world it could be done and it would be a good way to hunt fish and also ward off sharks i just don't like that the game gives you no option to do any type of attack or self-defense when you're in water you're a complete sitting duck when the shark's around i mean they might have some solution done already i don't know i just think this could be a neat addition the next thing i'd like to see in sons of the forest is being able to drag items and things you can do this in stranded deep now i don't know if it would have much use in the forest or sons of the forest but it's such a neat feature like if you kill a shark you should be able to eat some parts of it in the forest you can't but you should be able to drag it underwater and cut its head off which you can't the only way you can get shark heads in the forest is to just already cut the head off the sharks that are already there. But it's like collecting a trophy for something you didn't even do. It doesn't have much value. Now it could be neat if they add a lot of props into the game, which they did in the forest, and be able to drag them and move them around. Or clear them out of the way so they're not an obstacle, for example. I don't think this is absolutely necessary. I just think it would be a handy feature that could open up a lot of possibilities for the game. For example, you could drag a deer carcass into a trap, and then the cannibals might go for the deer. Then you've just caught some cannibals i think it could be neat this is a bit of a silly one and i wasn't going to add it but i think it could be good and that is to have an option to allow the version number of the game to be displayed on the screen like a watermark i know that seven days to die does it because that's been an alpha for nearly 10 years now but it's compulsory you can't switch it off the reason i'd like to have it is that when i record videos i don't often put the version number of what i'm playing and it will become outdated and then everyone loves to remind me in the comments that i'm doing something wrong because a new feature has been added like a new weapon or something it only has to be small but i would personally like that just so players can see what version i'm playing and then go oh, okay that's what version it is that was removed that was added this has changed blah 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 you get what i mean the next thing is a little bit gimmicky but it's something that i think i'd like to see in the game 
In the main menu, they could have polls that they put up and players could vote on them. It could be about anything they want, but I think that would give them more feedback than anything else. I almost guarantee that like 95% of people would vote on their polls, no matter what they're asking. The next thing that I'd like to see is more hostile creatures in the game. And I'm hoping that the creatures interact with the cannibals, but we'll see. But things like moose, because it is probably based in Canada. Moose would be cool. Bears, wolves, there's a lot of things they could add. I don't think it's necessary, but it is cool. Another thing I'd like them to add is a drone to the game. It could be a good way for players to get good screenshots of their bases without having to use cheats or console commands. I think Sons of the Forest is set in like today's date, so drones would be available. I'm not saying that they have to attach air to surface missiles on it or it can be like a Obama drone or something, but just a drone that you can use to take photos. That would be really, really handy for people like me. Now, one thing I do kind of want added to Sons of the Forest is a pickaxe, though I'm very on the fence about it. And the reason being is that the forest is probably one of the only survival games that doesn't have one because the premise of the game is that you build with wood. Now, the reason I do want it added and it's got to do with with performance of the game and to give more of the map more value. Now I'll start with giving the map more value. What Sons of the Forest could have is iron inside caves, which would incentivize players to go and mine iron in there. Now, how I would do it if I was developing this game is not make iron structures, but creating iron plating that you could surround your walls with and doors, etc. So to strengthen them by quite a substantial amount. This is so players don't build multiple layers of wall, which would decrease the performance of the game. Instead of having a lot of structures, you can just strengthen one structure up quite a lot. I don't want it to go full-fledged like Seven Days to Die or Ark where mining is a huge factor of the game, but more to just expand on what you've got. So you've got a wooden wall, with an iron band or steel band around it. Now, even if they're not interested in adding it, I think adding it as a weapon could allow modders to easily implement their own stuff. So if players wanted to go down the route of what I'm talking about, for example, it could be easily done, but it could also be used to clear rocks. I never really liked that in the forest and caves, there's sections that are blocked off by destructible rocks. And the only way to move them is with explosives. And if you don't have explosives, you cannot pass. So maybe an alternative is to have a pickaxe that can knock down those sections of wall. Though, after saying all this, I am very hesitant on it because I don't want the game to be forcing you into caves to get a material. It shouldn't be necessary, though it could add some benefit. I'm sure they spent a long time designing the caves in the forest, but I bet players barely spent any time down there because it was just too scary or the reward just wasn't worth it. I'm in the latter camp. It's not really worth going in the caves because there's nothing of real value down there once you've been down there once. And there's only a few items you actually got to get out of the cave. You do need to do it to progress to the end game, but yeah, I'd say between 95 to 99% of the time you spend in that game is above ground. Why not make it worthwhile? The next thing is I would like them to add more ponds, lakes, rivers, etc. to the mainland or just make buildable wells. I found that building next to water in the forest was very useful for a lot of things and it added to realism. Problem was there wasn't a lot of them, so it did limit the amount of building locations you could pick from if you wanted such a thing. But perhaps adding a well could overcome that. I don't know anything about wells. I'm pretty sure you can't just build some stones and make it fill with water and then it's a well. I'm pretty sure they operate of a hole you gotta dig down to get to the water. There's a shovel in the game, maybe they can make use of it. I just don't know enough to comment, but it could be an easy solution to the problem. I think it's a problem. Another one I would want in Sons of the Forest is a blister or other type man defenses that you could put in your base. The catapult in the forest was useless for defense. It really was. It was just so difficult to use. It took so long for the rocks to land that you couldn't really damage anything with it. And most likely there's going to be a giant in the game. Whether it's going to be like the worm is going to spawn constantly, we don't know. Going to need an effective way of taking it down. And this might be it. Ammunition could cost so one log each could be cool it could work really well i think i suppose a scorpion could work that is like a ballista type weapon that's mobile that you generally want it up high on your walls so you can defend without it getting broken anyway that's it for this one and the next one i'm just going to continue with the things that i want in sons of the forest and as i'm saying this i'm coming up with other things that i want in sons of the forest it's probably going to delay it even more now i'm trying to be consistent i think i'm doing all right anyway if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe cheers